Boy, was it a problem this weekend. Nearly 100 flights delayed or canceled at Orlando International. And it seems like we've been hearing this an awful lot lately. And this one is the third day in a row travel plans have been halted or put on hold. And most of today's problems are impacting Spirit and JetBlue flyers. Randy Hildreth is joining us live in the studio this morning. And Randy, the airlines say the problems stem from our storms that we had on Saturday. Yeah, good morning. We've been following this since Saturday when those storms rolled in. Some passengers told us that they might not get a flight out until tomorrow or Wednesday. Now, I've been monitoring MCO's flight tracker. I've already seen about 80 flights canceled today. Now, the latest data from FlightAware shows 180 cancellations in the last 24 hours, just to put that in perspective, and more than 300 flights were canceled on Saturday alone. The two big factors we talked about severe weather and airplane technical issues. Southwest Airlines dealt with some issues this weekend. Confirmed to Fox 35, some flights were delayed or canceled because of routine maintenance overnight. The company sent a statement over the weekend saying, in part, some of those aircraft continue to be operating behind schedule. At the same time, thunderstorms and airspace congestion in the southeast U.S. is causing additional delays. One stranded passenger said she really just tried to make the best of the situation, just patient as she waited for updates. Trying to take deep breaths and understand that things happen. We don't want to, they want us to be safe, not fly in this weather. But how are they going to compensate all these people? There's lots of people. Well, some people said, hey, I'll just drive home after my flight was canceled. We spoke to one man who booked a rental car to make the 14 hour trip back to Indiana. But some people who wanted to drive home face some additional challenges coming up in the next 30 minutes. I'll have more on that part of the issue.